Welcome back. I actually had to get the old heat gun out here to try and put some heat in these fillets that we pulled last week. I think that was the last video you saw. Um, trying to heat them up and get them to kick off a little bit. You can see there where we're pulling these fillets, but we're going to be trying to get all this glass installed today. So that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, hit that like button or subscribe and stay tuned. All right, well, you just saw right there. I was trying to heat this thing up. It's cool out. It's only about 45 degrees outside. Sun shining. You know, we'll go from heat to cold. Uh, so I'm just trying to heat this up. This is the next day. This is still all pretty, pretty soft. Uh, it's firm, but uh, just trying to put a little heat in it. Let it start working out. Uh, fixing to start fiberglass in this. Um, so once again, I was just trying to get these. Yeah, that's already a little firmer there, so I feel feel a whole lot better about that. Just trying to start to kick the reaction. And uh, I got this board on the back, so I got to take that off because that fiberglass, you'll see, it's got to come over there. I've said it a bunch of times. I also redid, uh, before I get started on that, moved all of these. You saw that I, I cut all these yesterday, and then just had them clamped in here. And uh, still trying to figure out, one thing I'm not sure of is what height do they go um obviously the the bulkheads themselves are notched for height so it's just, uh, still just one inch and i know that we have to plane them down but it uh, looks like we have to plane everything down to the top of the transverse bulkheads so i don't know if that means all the way to the front because i don't have a reference up here i have this little towel on here to keep it from poking a hole in my little tent but you know so i'm gonna tighten all this fit up before I glue it all in place but uh, you know just need to know what height I guess to put it um, so that it's pretty level so I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is just uh, got to figure this out is use the transverse bulkheads uh, like this find, find a good straight edge and um, have those boards maybe just be a little bit higher than maybe have these boards be a little bit higher. So if this is level with the top of the transverse bulkhead there, let me see, I hope it's, yeah, right there. If, if, so if, if the bottom of this have these boards just a little bit higher than that, and right now they're about almost to the bottom of that. So essentially to get flush, I'd have to, I'm gonna have to plane down all that. So I don't know, I gotta think about that a little bit. I may try and lower them down uh said to make sure that all this thing is flush and level but i'll i'll get to that i'm you know been uh trying to get to this point i'm fixing to put all that fiberglass in the back you can see um uh, even have the even have the uh, resin sitting out in the sun trying to get it to, to heat up so we go from trying to make it not kick too fast to now trying to make it kick at all so about to get started let's see if we can So here we go, getting set up. We're actually putting that first layer of uh, pre-coat, uh, trying to take that epoxy, a thin epoxy, put it on there and then come back. This is that little 10 ounce cloth that goes on and this is another mistake that I made. What I should have done is waited and put this layer on last and let it be kind of the finished layer to cover everything up. It would have worked out better, but um, live and learn. So you can see I got my little table right there behind me. Uh, that's just got a piece of three quarter inch plywood and this is where I screw up. You see I take it off and that epoxy hadn't set hard so it came out like glue, almost like a caulk or something. So I had to come back in there and kind of fix that up. I went and made some more thickened epoxy and just filled in those holes. I'll come back and show that, that board here in a little while. But what I basically have to do is stop, you know, moving towards fiberglass and it's luckily it's cool, but I went up there and made some thickened epoxy and then just filled that up. And then we're going to try and get all of that fiberglass that you see there and uh, get it installed today. As I'm doing this, the reason that I said I wish I'd have done the transom or the stern first is because the, as I put this, start putting this fiberglass in and it goes over the top of that motor well transom there, then um, it create it had two layers when I went to lay the transom on. I think you'll see it later, but what I should have done is put the, the whole transom layers on and then put these two layers on top of it. Um, 
It may finish easier the way that I did it because I put some thickened epoxy on the edges of it, but uh, I think if I had to do it again, I, I would do it the other way. Once again, most of this fiberglass that's going into this transom here, almost all of it in all these little compartments um, is 1808 that I went ahead and sized. And you can see that I put it on my little table there, which is a piece of three quarter inch plywood and it's got that bisqueen on top. And then I just saturate all the fiberglass there on that table. So that way when I when I put it in place that it's, it's, it's already basically wet out and then I just roll it and roll it and roll it to make sure that it bonds and sticks to that uh, layer that I have put in uh, the, the thin epoxy that I put on the wood. It seems to work out pretty well and I can't imagine trying to put this 1808 you know, in there dry and then saturate it afterwards. I mean, I'm sure people, plenty of people do it, but, but this uh, I've done this from the start. Don't know where I learned it or why. Maybe uh, Andy with Boatworks, but uh, I saw him do it. And so I started it uh, you know, that way and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do all of it that way. Yeah, and you can see I'm just steady after it. Um, I'll make one batch of epoxy and lay out my fiberglass, and then I'll wet it out and put another layer, you know, make sure that I have a good uh, wet surface that I'm gonna be putting that onto, and then I just roll it and roll it, and about every time I place and put a new piece in there, I can go back and roll everything that I've done before, and then you can see me, I go back over my little epoxy table there, mix up some new epoxy, and then so just keep going and going, just one batch after another. I wish I'd have kept up with how much epoxy I used. I want to say I used about two gallons doing this whole stern. Maybe, maybe not that much, but it was, it was a lot of batches of epoxy to get it done. mentioned that all this was 1808. This is actually some 1708 pieces that actually go there on the whole side. And by this point in time, it had gotten pretty cool in the night. I would say it's dipping now into, into the low 40s. So it took a little bit to get that stuff to roll out and then just start cleaning up. Well, I did get it done. It took all freaking day. But um, I got it all in there. It's it's still cold, uh, so it's it's not it's not gonna sit. Um, now let me show a problem that I had here. So I had this. This is the piece that was on the on the transom on the stern. This is where I had done the little pucks, uh, the holes. That's what I was worried about when I took it off. This hadn't set, so it come off like glue. So what I did is I hurried up and made a fresh batch of, of thickened epoxy, covered it over, and then um, heated that up a little bit, and then just went right over it with fiberglass. So it's probably gonna have some depression. I might have to fair out, but at least it'll be flat. But it's uh, it's still just it's just in there. Um, like I don't know why this 1208. It doesn't it doesn't. I don't know if it's because it's so wet out right now or what but it doesn't seem like it wants to wet out like i wet it out on the table before i put it in so it's uh that's it and like all those layers like so now every every compartment um is is boxed out and all this will have i have glass all the way around this one because this is where i'm gonna have my drains um live well drains or deck drains all that's gonna be going out through inch and a half drain there Obviously going to have seacocks and all that in here. Um, this was a bit of a screw up. Um, so this motor well is not going to come up to about that high. So I should have should have stopped this from turning this corner. 
because now it would have been this where, where it would have been just this 10 ounce glass that's right here which is you know lovely to put down um I like this 1808 here now what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to fare this this area here i'm gonna have to fare it all you know that'll be exposed but um like this will come in like this but this would otherwise it would have been fine with just the 10 ounce glass but there's a lot of spots where it's low because you got to understand it's not it's not getting tacky at all so i might have to give it a while tonight um i'm gonna come roll it later tonight get the fin roller and roll it and then you know probably roll it tomorrow i may actually set up a heater here in the back of the boat so i can get some heat get it to kick so that's it it's been a long day it's time to go eat and then uh get back at it later tonight all right so it's the next day it's ugly and cloudy and cold this morning uh four in the 40s so i'm back out here this afternoon um come back in here pull these screws and plates off and filled all this with thickened epoxy and it's still uh it's still tacky just did that a little while ago also kind of filled this weave in right here put a little thickened epoxy on this on the edges so that when i lay this new glass um i didn't want to have any air spots and all in there so i'm hoping that that helps I'm kind of trying that out but so what i'm about to do i got it set up uh got the camera set up i got my wet out table right here getting ready and uh so fixing to fixing to put two layers on the back of here it's kind of cattywampus um like i said when i whenever i do the bottom i'm gonna bring that other fiberglass up to here and then i'm gonna have to just spare the heck out of it but it's uh it's not perfect um in here but it'll get it'll it'll get there it's way overdone um i think so it should be all watertight and everything will be good it'll it'll work out so i'm gonna have to come back in and inject some epoxy and some of this stuff we'll see how it goes right here now this shows you can see how i'm gonna have that whole sheet all the way across the transom and what i was talking about earlier how i wish i'd have done the transom first in essence so those two layers that come over the, over the top of that motor well would be on top of those flat pieces so where the motor actually mounts you're going to see there's actually going to be four layers of 1808 fiberglass which is, which is going to be pretty heavy To be the last of the transom I, I hope um, as you can see I got uh, both layers of glass here on the back it looks pretty good so it's all coming out pretty well you see where I have my I was able to get those fixed up I don't know if I showed that last time when I put had that little piece of wood when I pulled it off that well hadn't already hadn't cured I kind of got ahead of myself and so I just hurried up and put some thickened epoxy in there with it and uh it seems to be seems to be good you know where i put that little bit of thickened epoxy here on the edges of this that looks like it's sealed up real good you know i'm gonna have to uh 
close up the shop here close the tent it's a uh, weather's fixing a turn so but did want to show got it done you know so that's what it looked like in the back um, we'll start cutting holes in it for too long so that's it <laughs>